O'Gwyn from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm joining in the fun with the Dreamweaver stencils on Imagine Crafts blog hop. Be sure to stop by all the blogs for inspiration. I've created a super simple card using the pear die set from Dreamweaver. I wanted to make this pear pop, so I added some gold embossing powder from Imagine Crafts at the bottom. I love how this turned out. Now this card can be created in just a few steps. First we need to create our card base and center panel. Now I've used some white cardstock, but you can use any color and any size that you'd like to accommodate your stencil. Next we need to die cut our image. Next just take some washi tape or blue painters tape and tear it down the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just going to create our mask for our ink. Now you want to place your tape on your image. We're going to be inking up the bottom part. Use your Versamark ink and really press it on there. And now we can apply our embossing powder and heat set it. And finally we can finish our card using some foam tape to attach our panel and our pair. And to add a bit more detail, I'm tying on a punch tag with a sentiment using some thin gold thread. And that's it. It's super easy. I hope you will use your Imagine Crafts products or inks and pair them up with some Dreamweaver stencils for your next creation. For more projects and techniques using Imagine Crafts products, check out Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, the Imagine Crafts blog, and at ImagineCrafts.com. Thanks so much for watching.